school teacher, a woman has now been charged with having sex with a 14 year old male student, okay? Let's put up a picture of this person. This is from the Fresno County Sheriff's Office Sex Crimes Unit announced the arrest of Crystal Jackson, 39 years of age, a teacher accused of having sex with a 14 year old student, all right? Horrible. Crystal Jackson was arrested on Friday and booked into the Fresno County Jail on four counts of rape, along with single counts of continuous sex abuse of a child, oral copulation with a child, lewd acts with a child, communicating with a child to commit a felony, and meeting with a child for lewd purposes. Let's put a picture up again. Okay. Here's the background. On Friday, Sex crimes detectives with the assistance of the Central California Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force began an investigation into allegations surrounding a teacher named Crystal Jackson of Mountain View Independent Study School in Ridley. This school is part of Kings Canyon Unified School District. Detectives received information of Jackson engaging in continuous sexual abuse of a 14 year old boy. Over the course of an unspecified amount of time, Jackson had several one-on-one meetings with the student and sexual misconduct took place. This remains an ongoing investigation and detectives are working to determine the locations where sexual abuse may have occurred between Jackson and a now former student. There is a possibility that there are other victims out there who have not reported Jackson's illegal activity, I guarantee it. Yeah, they are the victims. Now, I know some people will say, well, it's different for boys. That's a damn lie. We know that based on research, okay? Young children, male and female, who are molested, especially by trusted adults, they have severe mental issues that have to be dealt with one way or the other. What she is doing is setting this 14 year old up for mental psychological failure. Intervention has to happen immediately. Now it may seem to this 14 year old like a good time. The 14 year old does not have the capacity to give consent. There's a reason our laws state that. Adrian, I know you can go deeper into that, but I wanted to say it for the record. It is not different, damn it, just because it's a male child. Absolutely not, and that's a very antiquated uh, view because it was always this thought of, oh yeah, a guy's having sex, let's high five him. No, this is a child, and that is why there are laws against this. That child was raped. There is serious psychological consequences of having someone essentially betray your trust and sexually victimize you. We're talking PTSD, depression, suicide, alcohol problems, eating disorders. That individual also may be um, perpetuating sexual uh, fantasies, stereotypes, bad things that are going to hurt other people. And so we need to realize that a child is a child. It does not matter their gender necessarily. Also, the thing also to bear in mind is how common this is. Rain, that's Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network. They're the nation's largest anti-sexual violence org. They report that about every nine minutes that there's child protective services finding some evidence of child sexual abuse. Mm, wow. And so if you happen to suspect that someone's being abused or you are, please please do reach out to Rain for help or resources at 1-800-656-4673. Give out the number one more time, Adrian. That's Rain at 1-800-656-4673. They are there to help you, to give you resources. And the thing is, you have to remember you're not alone. Amen to that, thank you for that info.